Hey Bass Fanatics, Den Herring here. My YouTube channel is FishDen365. Today we're going to be talking about hooks and how to sharpen hooks. It's a very simple process once you know how. The tool that you need to sharpen a hook is very simple also. It's a nail file. So you can get a nail file like this. Revlon has them. You can pick these things up at CVS or any of these pharmacy type stores I'm sure. CVS has an imitation nail file. It's just like the Revlon one. They work great and they work for a very long time. So we're going to talk first about actually how to sharpen the hooks by using a nail file. But before we talk about how to sharpen a hook with a nail file, it's important to know how do you know when your hook is sharp enough? Well the easiest way to tell if a hook is sharp is to take that hook and use your thumbnail and if you can rub that hook across your thumbnail this one sticks I can't move it across my thumbnail then you know it's sharp so that's how you know just the very lightest pressure you should not be able to move it across your thumbnail this one is extremely sharp I cannot move it it's stuck there this is a great way of telling if your hooks are sharp or not so when you have a hook that's this sharp you can't move it across your nail don't sharpen it because you will only make it worse you can't make it more sharp than that that's been my experience so this one is fine just the way it is but I have a couple other hooks here that are dull one thing that happens especially with treble hooks is sometimes when you are retrieving a bait you'll get stuck or hung up on a rock or a log usually it's rocks when this happens and the very tip of that hook point the very tip of it can bend inward or even bend outward and when that happens you're not going to hook any fish that way in fact there's a very interesting video out there that shows you just how important it is to have sharp hooks and it's from Matt Allen and Tim Little their YouTube channel is called Tactical Bassin and the video is called insane underwater footage jerk baits plus fishing tips if you look that up and watch that footage it's a number of bass smashing jerk baits and they had purposely had some jerk baits with hooks that were either dull or even one one might have been broken off these bass were slamming those jerk baits as hard as a fish could hit a lure and they weren't getting hooked and it's because those hooks were not sharp so it's a great video a great learning video for seeing how bass position and and eat baits especially jerk baits in that particular case but it also points out the the need to have very very sharp hooks so I have here a hook that is not nearly as sharp as this red one I'm gonna put the red one down and you can see this just goes right across my thumbnail it doesn't stick so I'm going to take this nail file and I'm going to just kinda of look at the point and see if I could actually see if it's bent or not it's not it's just dull and all I'm going to do is this is the most important thing is when you sharpen a hook with a nail file you go towards the point do not sharpen away from the point go toward it you only need a few strokes this way so a couple strokes on this side I'll go to the front I'll go to the other side and I'll go to the back so I'm trying to get around that hook point now let's see if it's any better it's it's better but not perfect I'm gonna go a few more strokes around this hook And you'll see when you do this, if the hook has a finish on it, you'll be taking that finish off the tip. But that's necessary in order to get that tip, the tip of the point, extremely sharp. And I can see that that's what's happening with this one. So I imagine right now this is going to be very sharp. Yep, I cannot move that across my thumb. It is stuck in there. You have to be careful. If you have thin nails, the hook point could actually go through your thumbnail. And, and that'll cause quite a bit of pain. So be careful with that. Uh, most people have very thick thumbnails and you, you should be okay, but uh, in case you have thin nails, just be aware of that. Okay, here's one of my favorite topwater lures and, and uh, the back hook on this is not sharp. I checked it earlier. The front hook is. So these are treble hooks now and you can see I cannot get that across my thumb. But the back, different story most of these tines. This one's really bad. Um, this one really needs to be sharpened. Same approach as with that other type of hook. This works on all different types of hooks. I'm just going to go around the hook with the nail file. Again, I'm sharpening towards the hook point. Towards it, not away from it. I've seen a lot of people sharpen away from it, and, and that'll sharpen a hook too, but it will not be nearly as effective as going towards the point. And you can see right now, I can't get that across. I just dug it across. 
So that's how the sharpen hooks. I hope this helps you in that regard. One other thing I'll talk about hooks right now is the type of hook I like. There are cone-shaped hooks and there are what they call cutting edge hooks. Back in the 90s, uh, early 90s, a company called Excalibur came out with an Excalibur rotating hook. And I'll put it up here next to me so you can see a picture. The hooks, the hooks were actually turned. These were treble hooks and they actually had a turn in them. And it was reported in the marketing material that that rotation actually helped get the hook into the fish's mouth and created a very good hook set. And some people to this day still really like those hooks. Personally, I hated those hooks. I, I was using them. I thought they were the right hook to use based on the marketing. But what I found wasn't that they didn't hook the fish. They did, but they had a cutting edge. And what I mean by that is on the inside edge of the hook right here, it was, it was like a knife edge. It wasn't a cone-shaped hook where it was just a needle point and a cone shape. It actually had a knife edge on the side of the hook where the barb is. And so that knife edge would cut into the fish's mouth. And so when I was applying pressure on fish with those hooks, oftentimes the fish would come unbuttoned and I'd lose the fish. And it wasn't until later that I figured out it was because of those cutting edge hooks. So personally, for me, I like cone shaped hooks. I don't like cutting edge hooks. Some people do like the cutting edge hooks. If you have success with them, don't change a thing. It means that you have a rod and reel set up and a particular way of fighting the fish with, where that works for you. For me, it did not. Cone shaped hooks are just make more sense to me personally because I just want that very tip to be sharp. Once that penetrates, I want the hook to fully penetrate and I don't want it to cut out of the fish's mouth. So that's why I like cone shaped uh, hooks. Whether it's a treble hook or an EWG wide gap hook for worms, um, I'm always looking for that cone shape and, and, uh, and this is the method for sharpening the hook. Now, you can use this same file for sharpening cutting edge hook points too. The tip of the point will still, you'll still be able to sharpen either type of hook. But I have found nothing more effective for sharpening hooks than a simple nail file. The other thing I'll say about the Excalibur hooks is, is the rotating hooks is they're no longer in production today. So somewhere along the way, someone may have figured out that they were not the best hook. We'll never know. But I don't think they're in production anymore today. So I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. We'll continue to do more of these types of videos. Remember, we're certified classified. God bless your fishing endeavor.